coming in just a minute late here for the mailbag, but uh, it's a really short one today, so we're not going to run up against any time limits. short one today because uh, first off I was worried that these little tiny kids you know they're just gonna run out of energy before we get part way through and uh, secondly because uh, DJ is coming back today and I've got to go pick her up from the mail uh, from the mailbag no I've got to go pick her up from the uh, airport uh, I probably have to leave here around noon so we probably would have been okay anyhow but all right, let me adjust these cameras a bit. I said a little closer than usual today so that we can, I don't know, hopefully we can see the kittens. All right, and uh, I got to play the mailbag jingle for you all before we get rolling. Let me do that too. Uh, maybe. There we go. Gone, and most of the shops are gone. 
but there is a really nice Indian restaurant in another part of Long Grove that's like the one that we go to all the time. And I don't know, I'm way off the topic. Um, so uh, thank you, Dave, for that suggestion. And we have one other card today. It's got this really cool, it's been sealed with a sticker that's got all these little cats sitting together with their tails hanging down and one little kitten at the end. That's so cute. Okay. Uh, it says here, okay to read. And there's a sticker also that says, happiness is cats. I like that. It says, all the kittens forever. And on the inside, it says, my birthday wish for you. How sweet. I know I missed your birthdays. But when I found this card, I had to get it for you all. And it's spelled Y-A apostrophe L-L, which we can definitely prove of. So happy unbirthday. So glad to be able to watch the goings on at KA Con. I was in Indianapolis that weekend for a family reunion. I couldn't talk the rest of the clan into going a bit further and attending KA Con, so I had to attend virtually. So close, yet so far. Hope your unbirthday is great. I guess any day spent with kittens can't be bad. XOXO, Paula, who is Paula VA on Discord. Paula VA, thank you so much for the card. It is adorable. I especially like your stickers. I especially like the one that you've, you've sealed the letter with, with this, this, all these cats sitting together and the little tiny kitten on the end. That's just adorable. All right, I want to recheck the camera angles here because I'm not, because I'm situated slightly differently than usual, I'm not sure what we are seeing and what we're not. I guess we're doing okay. All right, let's go with that. We will stick with it. Um, okay. So that was our, uh, that was our letters. Um, we've got this flat thing too, I guess, but this is a drop shipment from Amazon. So why don't we start with it? Oh, something very tiny. It's a ram oh, oh, well, that's interesting. Huh. <clears throat> How about that? Hi, DJ and Mr. A. I have the same knife you used during mailbag. I needed replacement blades, and I thought Mr. A needs some too. Fred on Discord. Fred, that's Fred, P-H-R-E-D-D, -D, Fred. Fred on Discord, thank you so much for sending these blades. These are, I can see just by looking at them, they are exactly the right blade for this knife. And I would just, I guess I should look at this later. Um, I'm interested to see if a new blade makes any difference. This one doesn't seem chipped or anything. Ceramic's supposed to last a long time. But uh, maybe if I try a new one, I'll find that, um, maybe if I try a new one, I'll find that it opens things even better. So thank you so much, Fred. That's so thoughtful. You know, I'm just going to put it right here in the box of mailbag stuff, um, utilities. Uh, that's perfect. Thank you. Uh, that's very thoughtful. And uh, it's cool that you did. You definitely sent exactly the right blades. Ceramic blades are so cool. Um, they're, they're just really awesome. I've, I've always thought that they were very cool. Um, I guess they make ceramic kitchen knives too, which I've never tried, but I'd worry about that a little bit because you just, you can't sharpen them, right? It's, it's impossible. So you're stuck with what you got. Um, whereas for my actual kitchen knives, you know, I'm putting an edge on them uh, constantly, putting a fresh edge on them so that they cut well. All right, <clears throat> let's see. All right, um, so here we have another kitmit box addressed to Loganberry. Um, I guess this is, I doesn't seem like it's been a month since the last one, but I guess it has been a month since the last one. And uh, this was a kitmit box that's sent to Loganberry by our friend Lucia. It is literally the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, last month they had a theme that was uh, rock and roll, and they had like a stage pass and a microphone and stuff, which had been in the living room, and everybody's been playing with them. Uh, Logan very sure his toys. Uh, this month, it is, it looks like an animal theme. It's a great outdoors theme, sorry. And it says, uh, let's see what we got this month. Spoilers for any of you that uh, also get the kidnap box for your cats. I guess I'm ruining that for you. And, uh, I swear this is from Lucia, even though it seems like great advertising for Kitnet Box. None of us are associated with them. They don't know who we are. Their marketing people should have thought to send us this stuff themselves, but that's what we have Lucia for. She's, uh, she's great. So 
Okay, um, I'm probably not going to get these in order, so let's just pull these things out and see what we can figure out what they are. This is the um, okay. I can't even tell which one this is because it doesn't say the same name. This says wood and feather balls, which is exactly what they are. It's very descriptive with a little leather thing, and it looks like something that Logan very actually like quite a bit. <laughs> there is a note at the end that says, occasionally one or more of the items in your kidney box may be different than what is listed. No tree boxes will also contain a special item to replace the edibles. Oh, maybe that's, maybe that's what this is, because I don't, I don't think we ever get the treats, so maybe that's, maybe that's how that works, I'm not sure. Okay, so anyway, moving right along, here we have a toy that is named Bandit the Raccoon, and it says, oh, uh, fun toy to chase and swat, raccoon sizzle toy. Very cute. Uh, all for Paws Woodland Branch Kicker. The This kicker is sure to please with its luxurious waffle textured fabric. Oh, wow. Well, it is luxurious and waffle textured. How about that? Um, now we have a horseshoe that says Paws and Purr's Lucky Horseshoe. This delightful soft velveteen horseshoe. Oh, with catnip. Awesome. Uh, this is some strange raccoon thing. Not a door dangler, not a flower kicker. Is it a wise owl? No, it is not that either. Is it a bear totem? It could possibly be dangling all natural corn husk and textured with burlap. It is a bear. I would not have realized that is a bear. Glad they told me because it doesn't say the word bear anywhere on here and it doesn't look entirely like a bear. Although I guess I see where they're going. Dangling all natural corn husk and textured burlap come together to make this adorable bear totem a favorite. Oh, okay. Uh, here we have a Choco Nip. This, this doesn't seem outdoorsy themed to me, but that's okay. Choco Nip. And it's also not in the list, so I guess they throw in some extras. Or uh, maybe this is just listed as premium catnip pillow. And uh, it's only listed as premium catnip pillow because they couldn't make it fit the outdoor theme. That's fine too. Uh, here we have a wand that has leaves on it. All for paws, leaf wand. Your furry friends will work themselves into a frenzy. Okay. Um, we have a uh, all for paws hike in the woods wise owl. Stuffed with the finest North American catnip. We have a quill. No, ink. We have an ink right here in the box. Okay. Here we have a catnip kicker. A, not the, is this, no, this is not the Woodland Branch kicker. This is the flower kicker. Adorably fun plush kicker. Okay. And one more thing. We have adorable. That's right. It's an adorable, um, the, the toys that hang from the door with a bird on it. And that is super cool. So I know that Loganberry will enjoy all of this, and I also know that Loganberry is a cool kid who is going to share this with the rest of the faculty. Lucia, thank you so much for subscribing Loganberry to the Kidnet Box. That was really thoughtful of you. And uh, a lot of good advertising for the Kidnet guys, I think. Because these boxes, uh, these boxes are legitimately great. Like this is a lot of really cool stuff that comes to your house every day. Now I really do sound like I'm advertising to them. I promise. I have they they have no idea who I am, and uh, I don't know them either. So okay, uh, moving right along. Now this I'm not completely sure who sent this. Megalina um, sent me a message and said that she was going to send something to our house for um, for these guys, for Fable and the Tiny specifically. Um, but this came so quickly after she said she was going to do that that I'm not sure if this is the thing she sent or if this is from someone else. So let's open it up and we'll see if Megalina can confirm that she did in fact send this. 
I don't think there's going to be a note. Maybe I'm wrong about that too. Is there a note? There's no. There is no note. It is a newsprint plush pet bed, and uh, I am just going to open it now under the assumption that if it is from Megalina, it's definitely for these kids, and if it's not, uh, these kids can probably have it anyway. It's very cute. It is just the right size for three kittens to sleep in together. Paws and pals, small, the warm, snuggle space, self-warming, plush, comfortable, and made from high-quality materials. And it matches the home that they're already used to because it's got old newsprint on it. How cool is that? That's really perfect. I'm going to put it right where I'm sitting, but uh, obviously I can't do that while I'm still sitting here. So I'll put it off to the side for the moment, and then we will get it in there. Hi, Tiny. Oh, I need a little snuggle break. Mm -hmm. But you're so cute. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. I'm assuming Megalina. Thank you so much for that. And now we have just three more boxes. It's going to be a short one today, folks. Like I said, that's a good thing. I can already hear what's in here. There's a ball track of some sort. A ball tower, I think. I heard it. It is. Ball towers. Okay. Let's see what the story is. Oh, and some other things as well. Is there a note? There may be a note. So we have a couple of these ball towers and a note. Okay. The note says, oh, hi, Fable and Kittens. I hope you enjoy one of my favorite toys. Love, Tahini. Tahini, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Okay, so um, on top of the ball towers, we also have kit, kitty fun tubes, which are always a big hit, kitty fun tubes. We have 12 of those, four separate packages of the kitty fun tubes. And, of course, Churu. You can never have too much Churu. Oh, boy. Wait until we start introducing these kids to Churu. They have no idea what's coming. I don't think we're going to able to try any Churu yet. I'm going to fix that right away. I'm not going to open your brand new thing of Churu, though. We've still got some in reserve that I'll bring in here. We'll let it try. <laughs> Tahini, thank you so much. You guys are, are so generous, and we... We really appreciate it, and I know the adopters do as well. I'm going to set that back there, and we're going to go to, hang on, not this one yet. Fable, you seem just a little bit confused about what's going on. Just a little. Where? I just saw a kitten go behind me somewhere, and now I don't know where it is. I'm being careful. Got two of them in my lap. Yes, but Karchi is not here. I like now. Get a little better. Oh, well, that's fine. I know Karchi's fine wherever she is. Oh, my. Okay, well, fortunately, this also has a note. Let's see what this is all about. It says, To Fable and Her Tales. It's an all-girls class, so I thought they needed something pink for their room. From Karen, who is Karen Sows, 52, on Discord. Karen Sows. Karen Sows, thank you so much. So first off, you sent us a package of these uh, mice wands. It says natural handmade cat toys. And they look like great wands. And there's like three or four of them in here. Three, looks like. So that's awesome. Thank you very much for the, the wands. Hi, Parchy. I see you found your way back. Good job. Good job. And then you said something pink. And there's the other thing in here is a, just another box. So we're going to have to pull that out. And see what's inside. There's nothing on the outside to indicate what the something pink that goes in their room might be, but whatever it is, I guess we're going to deploy it right away since we wanted it in their room. Let's find out. Aww. I still can't 
know what it is, but it's cute and it is very pink. Hang on, I gotta get rid of some of this packing material. Perfect. Hi, Parchy, you're just exploring all over today? Hi, I saw you run over. Okay. What is this? It's it's like a it's got a tail. Okay, I see this part is a pillow, so it's like a cat head type thing. Oh wow! It's the big size cat bed, like the little tiny uh, giraffe bed that we have. But this is the pig version. How cute! <laughs> that's, that's really cute. I saw that they had a thing like this online. Oh, this is perfect. They are gonna love this one. Probably when they get a little bit bigger. But it's gonna just we're just gonna leave it out in here anyway. That's so cute. It's is it a is it a pig? Pigs don't have horns, do they? What? I mean, where am I coming from here? I'm guessing this is like a pink cow, then? I mean, there's these little horns. It's got curly horns, and it doesn't have a tail. I lied about that. I'll have to look it up and see what it is. Anyway, it does have little cow ears and horns, so I'm going to go with pink cow. Um, that's where strawberry milk comes from, as we all know. Okay, well, that's really cool, and it's very soft, and the kittens are going to love it. And I just put a quill in there. No, that was ink. I just put ink in there. You know what? I'm going to put quill in, too. Quill, come here. And you, too, Parchy. You guys can all check it out together. There you go. Check that out. What do you think, huh? Very interesting. I hope you guys can see that. I don't know if that's far enough. Let me just see if I that. Is that better? All right, one more box, and then we are done with the mailbag for today. Karen, thank you so much, by the way, for the strawberry milk uh, cat bed. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And for the wands. Fantastic. I've lost my green knife again. There it is. Hi, what are you looking at, Ink? You climbed out. Put all the bars she's still in there. Maybe I need to get a picture of this. Put it in there. Well, that's not a great photo, though. Oh, okay, now it's not a photo at all. All right, I tried. Okay. See, on um, the Discord chat, I'm not the only one to make a strawberry milk joke. That's fine. I guess it was the obvious way to go. All right, one more box, and this is full of fun stuff. Hang on. Let's see what the story is here. Is there a note? There is a note. Oh, there's a whole sheaf of notes, actually. Let's uh, page through these. Here we go. It says, hi, Mr. A and DJ. Oh, I see. The notes are all the same. Amazon just printed out a ton of them. Okay, that's good, though. More is better. It says, hi, Mr. A and DJ. Sorry, uh, just checking on that. I'm going to move this back here so that everything's a little more visible, and I'll just pull the stuff over, okay? Uh, hopefully you guys can see what's going on in here a little. Hi, Mr. A and DJ. I am sending some gifts for Fable and her tales and the faculty. You can distribute them as you see fit. Thanks always for what you do from Rosemary, who is Rosina on Discord. That's R-O-S-I-N-A, Rosina on Discord. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. So, this looks like some really cool stuff. This is a deluxe cat toy pack, um, which uh, you can see some of it right here. It includes a lot. I'll just read the list rather than open it right now. It says, two-way cat tunnel. Uh, we like those better, by the way. Like, if you guys have seen the cat tunnels that are the three-way cat tunnels, those are cool for cats, but they're terrible for the stream because there's no place to put the camera where you can see all of it. But the, the ones that just go straight through are great. I point them at the camera as much as possible, and then you can see what's going on inside. So that's that's the best kind of cat, in my opinion. Um, and the cats like them. Um, okay, it also 
includes a cat charmer wand teaser, three crinkle balls, three cotton mice, two fake fur mice, one cage mouse, uh, two colored balls, two bell balls, one scratcher fish, one scratcher ball, one tumble toy, and one feather teaser. Oh, oh the cage mice. I love the cage mice. So that's, that's this one that's in the, the metal ball. Those things last really well. And you can, if, when the mouse falls out, you can like, um, when they pull, pull the mouse out, you can put like a crinkle ball or something else in there. There's one of those rolling around this room somewhere, and I think they're great. This is, this is wonderful. Thank you very much. And then we have a box of Just for Cats, 12 tiny mice, and one of them is trying to escape, I can see already. Uh, I guess he can just come out. Why not? These guys need a tiny toy that's about their size. It seems just right. In fact, maybe I should put out two. These are good toys also for the faculty and for everybody. They're small, but uh, the cat, cats love these things. I don't, they're just, they're really, really great that way. Yeah, we'll put out a couple of those right now. It says Kitty Frenzy from Hearts. Thank you. Uh, we have three of the Yao Stinky Sardines. Uh, these are great. Yao Catnip is just un un unbelievably cool. And um, I don't know about King Fable. Uh, she's, I think she's in between catnip toys. I don't know if we've given her a Yao catnip toy, though. We gave her um, some of the Yao catnip that comes in Dragon Maker's toys. She's had a wing and the KA logo, so it's the same catnip, but this is the uh, official Yao thing. Now, I do know, and you've probably seen, that our new mom in the other room, who still needs a name, which I'm sure DJ will work on, a new mom has a Yao catnip banana, and she is a huge fan of that. I'm going to put this right here. Anyway, thank you so much for that. Uh, let's see. Where am I going with this? There's still some more stuff here. Um, there is a four-pack of Temptations. Oh, she does like that, yeah. Oh, or she's interested anyway. Got to check out the new stuff. Four pack of Temptations in chicken flavor, tuna flavor, dairy flavor, and medley flavor. Interesting. Very, very awesome. Obviously, the Temptations are treats that the cats just love. And then finally, we have a bag of Royal Canaan Mother and Baby Cat dry food. This is exactly what we are feeding everybody right now. Um, this is what we feed to our mom cats. Uh, this is what we're feeding Fable. This is what we're trying to feed these kids, although they're not quite eating on their own yet, but very, very soon now. Uh, they all tasted some food. Oh, she's over there eating some right now. I can hear her crunching on it. Uh, and it's also uh, what we are currently feeding the new mom because she's pregnant, and this is uh, lots of nice calories and the stuff that they need for developing the little kittens on the inside, too. So thank you. This is, this is absolutely going to get used. Very practical gift. We love it, Rosita. Uh, thank you so much for sending this stuff. I, it's wonderful. Really wonderful. Uh, and that has already brought our mailbag to a close. That was, um, I think, uh, maybe a record. How long? Half an hour? Okay, maybe not a record. I think we've had a couple that were even shorter. It was good. Uh, you know, I've said it before. I really do think that, uh, I mean, just... Look at the last adoptions um, for the breakfast kids, and you will see. I, I think it's easy for someone to say that, that you guys are all way too generous and send way too much. Um, we had to, I had to go out and buy giant plastic bins, like the 120 liter plastic bins, really big ones. And they were so packed, I couldn't even fit everything in them. I had to then stack a whole bunch of stuff on top of the bins. Uh, one for each adopter. It was it was really cool. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I think it's so awesome. The adopters thought it was awesome. Um, uh, it's it's just so wonderful to be able to do that, and it's all because all of you are so generous. Um, but it, at the same time, it is over the top, it is way over the top. So it's nice when there's um, when there's a mailbag that's a little slower like this. I was wondering where Quill was. And she has just dozed off inside the strawberry milk cow. Oh, I think I woke her up a little bit. I'm still going to get this picture here. She's wedged herself in there, and she's taking a nap. I think she likes it. 
Meanwhile, the other two are over here fighting. Okay, let me share those pictures real quick on the Discord. Not the best photo inside that strawberry milk thing, but uh, it's still a photo. So you guys can see what's going on in there. I do think the photo of the fighting next to the camera is pretty great, though. All right. Well, okay. So, I mean, that was it for the mailbag today. Um, I've got to get all this stuff sort of packed up and out of here, like always. Um, but again, I, I just I can't thank you all enough for how amazingly generous you all are. It's wonderful stuff, and uh, and I'm really excited for DJ to be home. She's going to be home all this week. Uh, like I said, I pick her up from the airport this afternoon. She will be home um, until next Sunday, so not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow. Then she gets on the plane and she goes to her second rotation, which is in L.A. Yeah, so she will be in sunny California, and that's a month-long rotation. And then if I understand it right, she does not get a break after that. So that's a month in L.A., and then I don't think she even gets to come home between L.A. and flying to Denver, Colorado, for her third and final away rotation, which will be a whole another month. Uh, but then after those two months, she will be back home. Um, for the rest of the year. So I'm really looking forward to that. Speaking of the rest of the year, I just got a confirmation the other day um, that Jimmy D has officially committed uh, to operating Kitten Academy while we are in India in December. DJ and I are going to visit her parents for Christmas. So we will be gone for two weeks in December, and for those two weeks, you will have everybody's favorite Jimmy D uh, back here hosting Kitten Academy for uh, for the two weeks. So look, I you guys should definitely look forward to that. He is so entertaining. Um, it, it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody, him included, I think. Uh, what else for news? That's about it. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for all for being so generous, and uh, thanks for being a part of this this uh, mail bag. I am going to pack this stuff up, and uh, I'm going to head out. I mean, up here, um, and then in about an hour or so, I am going to head out and pick up DJ. So that'll be even more fun. I guess. Well, you want to climb in my lap now? Where were you the last half hour, though? Huh? You just don't want me to leave, do you, Ink? Oh, yeah, you're so cute, though. Oh, cutie Inker. Such a little Inker. Okay. Okay, buddy. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, good job, man. I'm going to put this right here for now. I'm going to put it right here, and we'll, we'll see what happens. I can move it if we find a better spot or if these kids start exploring more of the room. They really have only used like a quarter of this room so far. So we have a lot more exploring to do. Oh, Ink, I saw you trying to climb on this box. You don't have to do that. Now we've got two kids in the strawberry cow. I'm surprised that thing is so popular already. You're just in there. I might have to move a camera so that we can see inside this thing. Hmm. I'll work it out. I've had to do that with the cheese anyway. I've been thinking that. I noticed the last couple nights that they all sleep in the cheese and you just can't see in there very well. So, and believe me, this stuff's on my mind. But, oh, we'll see what I can do. Right. Oh, here's that metal ball I was talking about. These things are so great. And they last forever, of course. Um, okay, so uh, if you guys are watching live, keep right on watching. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of cute things to see. But if you are watching on the archive version, it is going to end right now.
Thanks for watching.